Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Appreciate you stopping in. This is Akini. And for those of you who are new to my channel, thank you so much, really appreciate you. So I know I've been gone for a while, but I just wanted to let you guys know, I just recently had a baby and I've been recovering and living my best new life as a new mom. Thank you so much for all the well wishes from everybody. I really appreciate that. Today we're gonna get back to business though. And we're gonna go ahead and jump in with our June fragrance tray. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure to like and subscribe and stick around. All right guys, so first up on the June perfume tray is going to be Wilhelm New York's Mango Skin. One of my personal favorites that is just new to my collection. I've been sampling it for some time now and finally got this as a gift from my honey. He gave me this for Mother's Day, my first Mother's Day, and it is spectacular. Not only is the bottle itself beautifully crafted, look at that, but the fragrance is amazing. This is a really straightforward mango scent. It's giving freshly sliced, juicy, ripe mango. It almost is like true to form. It has the mango skin smell to it. It is spectacular. It's mango, I believe lychee, and some black pepper. This I would say is a definite daytime, fruity fragrance to wear. It lasts around six to eight hours. It is just amazingly spectacular. Look at that. The atomizer is amazing. Magnet, magnetized cap, which you know we love here. Beautiful bottle. The scent is just spectacular. And this, guys, is Wilhelm Parfumery New York Mango Skin. Next up, we have the newest release from Kayali, which is Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. This is a sweet bomb. Like, when I say a sweet bomb, I mean like the whole candy factory exploded up your nose. This is absolutely spectacular. It's bubblegum, pear, I believe vanilla, white caramel, rock sugar, sweet violet. This really has beautiful notes to it, but it's spectacular. Definitely a daytime and something that I'll be picking up for this month and probably for the rest of the summer when I'm going out having a good time. And that is Kiali's Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. Next up, latest to my collection is Theodora's Calotini's Hair Gelato. Absolutely spectacular. Now, I know this perfumer is from Greece, and honey, if this is what they have to offer in Greece, I am here for it. This fragrance smells just like you would imagine a pear gelato to smell like. You can actually smell the waffle cone. You can smell the creaminess, it's like a melted gelato on a waffle cone. That's the best way of saying it. That's exactly how this smells. It's sweet, it's fresh, and definitely just, daytime. It screams fun, it screams fresh, it screams here for a good time. And that is Theodorus Calotini's Pear Gelato. Next up is Carner Barcelona's Ibiza Nights. And Ibiza Nights is a citrus aquatic fragrance. I would say orange, lemon, and it has some marine or aquatic notes to it. Now, if anybody knows me, they know I do not really care for marine notes or aquatic notes, but this is blended so beautifully and literally smells just like a vacation in a bottle. This is like a fantasy in a bottle. I could see someone in a beautiful flowing white dress on the sand wearing this as the breeze just like blows it past everyone's nose and everyone just turns and looks and it's like, who is that? What is that smell? That is a pizza night. That's what that smell is. And this is by Carner Barcelona. Next up, an oldie but goodie. We should all know this one. This is Gossip Nights by Griti. Another beautiful peach fragrance. This is absolutely fantastic. It's a great peach. It does not smell cheap. It's not giving bath and body works. Definitely worth the price. I know it could be a little pricey, but it's worth it. It lasts forever on the skin. And it screams sweet summer even maybe spring. You could have been wearing this for spring too, but I personally like to wear it for the summer for the heat. I feel like the heat picks up that fragrance and really carries it into the air and carries it all around. It is fantastic, guys. This is Gossip Nights by Viti. Next up in the tray, 
is a new one as well. This is Navitus Melon Kiss. Now this is in collaboration with Gabby Loves Perfumes. Shout out to Gabby Loves Perfumes. This is Melon Kiss. This is a honeydew with creamed honey, Madagascan vanilla, I believe as well. It is a banger. That honeydew melon is definitely kicking. You don't get a lot of fragrances that offer honeydew. Most offerings of a melon in a fragrance is always watermelon. And I'm not the biggest fan of watermelon fragrances, but this honeydew is absolutely spectacular. It's fresh, it's sweet, it's a banger, it goes beast mode. This is definitely lasting 10, 12 plus hours on the skin. Probably more than that on your clothes if you don't wash them, which I hope we all do. But this is absolutely spectacular. This is something I'm definitely gonna be wearing and reaching for probably every other day. I've been reaching for it a little bit. If you guys can see, the dent is denting a little teeny bit, so we know that I've been wearing it. But this is absolutely spectacular, and this is Navitus Melon Kiss. And last but not least, guys, we have M. Mikalev's Ylang in Gold. Absolutely stunning bottle, number one. Love the bottle, beautifully decorated. The white up against the gold is fantastic. This is Ylang Vanilla Coconut Yellow Florals. It's sweet, it's a little creamy and lactonic. The Ylang is giving like a banana sunscreen kind of vibe, but not in a cheap way. It's giving that in a very ultra chic way. This is mature, it's a heavy fragrance. The Yellow Florals lend very heavy and they lean very heavy. I would say because of the heaviness of the yellow florals, I would wear this probably in the evenings on like the cooler summer nights. It will really carry very well into the air. This is definitely something for evening time. It's definitely going to be a banger and give you between probably eight to 10 hours as well. I can wear this seems like all night without a problem. I don't have to reapply too much because of the base of the yellow florals. But when it dries down into that beautiful coconut, it's a soft, creamy coconut. In addition to that wonderful vanilla, this fragrance is start to finish a masterpiece. And that is M. Mikalev's Ylang in Gold. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you guys who stuck with me this long. And I just wanna say thank you for all the well wishes for the birth of my baby. And this is my June perfume tray. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what fragrances you'll be wearing this June and tell me what you think of the fragrances I have and we'll get together next time. Take care guys. Bye-bye.